Okay, so I have been learning Godot recently, which is why you haven't seen as many or seen a videos from me. But I wanted to take a moment to illustrate why I still think uh, learning Ursina is worth your time. And a large part of it is understanding Godot is a lot easier because of all of the really, you know, at the core of how uh, video game development works. The things that I'm learning in Ursina, that I've learned in Ursina, and how they translate to Godot. So let's see how something looks in Ursina, and then later I'll show you the same sort of thing in Godot, and hopefully we can see some similarities and how maybe understanding Ursina makes understanding Godot a little bit easier. So we need to do from Ursina, import everything, um, and we are going to make a class, and I'll just call it a slime, and it is an entity, and we are going to Initialize self and what else do we need? You know what? Nothing. We're just going to do that one thing. And we're going to have um, self dot model. It's going to be a quad. And self dot texture is going to be this slime that I already imported. Excuse me, slime one dot png, and so app equals Ursina. S will be a slime. App dot run, and let's see how this works. I haven't done this in a long time, so I would like to think that. We'll work on the first try. Everybody hold your breath. Uh, kind of something, you know, we have our, our quad here, but um, the slime image did not show up. So I have to figure out what I did wrong with that. And let's see here, missing slime.png. Oh, it's called slime one. That's what the problem is, the typo. Of course, that was the error. So now when we try it, we have there it is. Okay, great. So we got the slime to show up. And the other thing we want to be able to do with that is to move it around. And we'll do that within the class because I think that's going to be something that tends to be more similar with how Godot works. So we're going to have a def update. It's going to update itself. And we'll just say um, if held keys left arrow self dot x minus equals let's just see what time dot dt does hold the left arrow and the slime is moving to the left very very simple program but i just want to show you now how that looks in godot all right with godot what we're going to do is we're going to start up here and switch this to 2d and we have this view here. It's kind of just a mostly blank screen. This is kind of the upper left corner of what we're going to be able to see. If I zoom out a little bit, this is just kind of set up for this is what we're going to see. Um, we're going to start with just a 2D scene, just kind of as a main background. And I'll retype this as main, and we're eventually going to come back to this. But what we need to do is... Actually, let's just save it real quick. Um, what we need to do is create a new scene, which is sort of like a new entity in Ursina. It's not exactly the same thing, but it's pretty similar. So new scene, and we are going to do what's known as a character body 2D. And what these do is handle a lot of the default information you need to have these things interact with each other. So I'm just going to rename this slime because we want to more or less mimic what we did uh, in Ursina. So you see this little error, error here? I almost said arrow, error here. Not really a big deal, it's just saying right now there's not much going on. And what I wanna do is add a child node. It's gonna be a collision shape 2D. And this again is a lot like what you did in Ursina and that's the whole point of this video. And we're just gonna give it a circle shape. And you see a little tiny circle pop up over here. Um, but we're still not really seeing anything else, and that's because we need the slime. So we need another child node, and this one is going to be the sprite 2D. You notice I didn't rename these, I could have if I wanted to. Um, but since I'm going simple here, I'm not really going to. Now, sprite 2D, 
I look over here, it's looking for a texture and it's empty. I already put slime in here. If you don't have your image, you can click and drag to this folder or you can be you know, more organized with your file system. Um, but again, I was going simple, so let's just click and drag the slime over here. And this guy was way bigger than I expected him to be. So let's go ahead and shrink him on down. That works good enough. I think I drag him to the middle here and zoom in a little. And now when I look at my collision shape, I'm actually going to drag that to the bottom so I can see it easier. And this does not need to be even close to perfect. There we go. There's my slime. It's got a collision shape. It's got the sprite. That's what he looks like. And he's just a slime. He's like an entity with this image and this collision shape, which allows him to bump into other things, including other slimes or whatever else we happen to have. Um, let's save this. And then we need to add a script to it so we can move him around. In Ursina, this is all about the update. And here, what we want to do is attach a script. Um, and I've kind of gotten into the habit of not using the built-in, but I kind of want to see what it looks like here. So let's do the built-in script and we can kind of, oh, interesting. <laughs> Did I not do it correctly? Well, whatever. Uh, what we're looking for here is a, um, physics process. Instead of def, we're going to use func and an underscore and then you do physics process delta. And what we're looking for is input. So before we do that, we actually have to go over to our project settings and our input map. And notice I don't see anything here. They have built in actions, UI, lots of different things, UI left uh, and UI right. And they have that with the left arrow and the right arrow. You know what? Let's just stick with that. We'll, we'll use what they have. Uh, so we're going to use UI left and UI right. So there's a couple of different ways we can handle doing this here. Let's do um, if input dot is action pressed and we'll do UI left. How come that's not on here? UI underscore left. Oops, I gotta put that in quotes. So just for the record, there is a much, much, much easier way to do this. Um, I'm doing it this way just because I kind of want to illustrate the similarities between Godot and Ursina when it comes to understanding Godot. So if the action is pressed UI left, then we are going to say global position minus equals, oops, that should be global position, just the X is going to be minus equal, let's just do uh, 100 times delta, which is our change in time. Again, it should look somewhat similar to what you saw in Ursina. Um, let's just plop this under the main. And how you do this, what's one of the really cool things here is you can just take the scene that, that you create, just click and drag. So there we go, now you have a slime in the middle of the scene. Um, hopefully we don't have any problems here. No got to set something to be the thing that runs but whatever we're on the main here and of course there's our slime and if I press the left button he's moving to the left so hooray it worked uh, nothing fancy here and I can tell you there's a million other similarities and frankly things that Godot can do and can do easier but were easier for me to understand because I spent so much time learning Ursina first so hopefully you enjoyed this. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and we will catch you some other time.